Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com Lesson A And in this first segment I'm going to be showing you how to set up your company profile How to create passwords How to back up your files And how to customize your icon bar As well as how to set up your chart of accounts Which includes banks, credit cards, expenses and more So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new company. When you do that, you're going to get a pop-up screen that looks like this, and it gives you a couple of options. And the main option is either start interview or skip interview. You can do the start interview process, and it's going to take you through a step-by-step. -step. Personally, I like to skip the interview and uh, just do things on my own. I find it to be a little faster and uh, less redundant since I've done this a million times. So I'm going to do skip interview. So we're going to put in company name and we're going to do uh, company one Inc. as an example. If you are not corporated, uh, your le the legal name could be your actual given name. Uh, but in this example, we'll just do company one Inc. Tax ID. We're going to put in the tax ID, whatever that may be. Street address. Uh, this could be your billing address or your physical address. Uh, either way, it's a whatever you want it to appear on most things as a default. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put an address over here of uh, Example Boulevard in the city of Example, California 90001. Okay, phone number. Since we are in Hollywood, we're going to use all these fives. We do like to use fives, don't we? Okay, fax number, same thing. Okay, email address. That's optional, but uh, if, you, uh, if you want, go ahead and let's put in an email address. And then the website, uh, which in this case is going to be www, or if you want to put the HTTP in there, dot learn quickbooks free.com then I'm gonna hit next oh, I one two three four five six seven it looks like uh, I gotta maybe put in one more in there here we go so over here you get to designate what your company is sole proprietorship means that you're the only owner and you haven't form formed a corporation you have partnership or LLP, limited liability uh, corporation, or this is limited, uh, limited liability partners. Then you have corporations, so we made this one an S Corp, let's say. Okay, this will help for tax purposes. Uh, fiscal year, in most cases, is always going to be January, so we're going to do January. And then we get to uh, choose the industry that we want to be in. So, for this one... Um, you know, there's going to be so many different types of examples, so it's going to be kind of hard to go on all of them, but we'll just do accounting bookkeeping. And that's what we're going to use as the example for this one. Because uh, a lot of you guys who are trying to learn QuickBooks eventually may want to do some accounting or bookkeeping. So uh, this is the best one I could use for now to show you guys. Create your company file. So we're going to hit next. And... Uh, here we go so we're gonna hit next and we're gonna choose company one and we're gonna hit save as you can see it's saving it and there you go we are almost done so um, let's see what they want us what's next over here so I'm gonna hit next okay set up your online Intuit account I'm personally not gonna set one up if you want to feel free but uh, a lot of people in most cases will not need to do this so it's really up to you whether you want to or not I'm just gonna X out of over here okay and there you go it just brought me my dashboard so you have a couple ways 
that you could do things with QuickBooks, you can either use your dashboard over here, and everything that you see over here is pretty much available in these tabs up here. So, once again, it's really up to you how you like to do things. Me personally, I'm going to X out of over here. I like to use the tabs up top, and that's the way I'm going to be teaching you guys as well. Okay? Uh, next thing we want to do is uh, go ahead and create a password. So we're going to go under company and we're going to set up users and passwords and we're going to do change your password. Username defaults to admin. I usually leave it at admin. You can do whatever you want. Uh, password, I'm just going to put pass for now. Keep it very simple. Challenging question, sure why not. Um, let's see what we have over here I'll just do any of them name your oldest nephew and I'll just do pass it really doesn't matter it's just uh, the example right now and there you go we just have created a password so the other, these are the first things that I like to do before I actually start working on it I like to set up my passwords and uh, I also like to set up my backups so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go over here and it's not over here oh, I'm looking for backup so let's see how we get to backup here we go save copy or backup so you can you'll find it two different places it's either under file save copy or backup or I'm gonna show you how to get it as a shortcut up here in a minute but for now I just wanna kinda of back it up I'm gonna hit backup copy then I'm gonna do local backup you could do online but I'm gonna do local uh, and then basically I browse to where I want to back it up to and I will just go ahead and back it up right now to my desktop and then over here you have certain features add the date and time of backup to the file name I don't personally do that because the computer does that already for you so I'm gonna check that off and then it says remind me to back up when I close my company files every four times I'm gonna personally check that off because I am responsible and I back things up when I need to back things up I don't need a reminder but if you're one of these people that this will help you then keep that on but I'm gonna take that off and then select an option to verify your company data is okay I'm going to do complete verification and I'm going to do OK. I'm going to use this location. Then I'm going to just do save for now and hit next. And there you go. I'm just going to hit back it up. Hit save. It's saving the data as you can see. It's backing it up. And there you go. So now we have just completely successfully backed it up. Now let's talk about, here we go, I'm going to X this out again. For me, that's more of a distraction for some reason than help. So you have the customized icons uh, uh, over here, and we're going to customize those right now. The way we do that is we're going to go over here, we're going to right-click on empty space, and we're going to hit Customize Icon Bar. And then over here we get to see uh, the different categories that it shows over here okay and that concludes the first part of this lesson uh, visit our website to see the second part of this lesson at www.learnquickbooksfree.com